Hey YouTube, how's it going? So in this video, I'm going to be making an updated video to the how to play video files from USB on the TV, as well as I'm going to be updating the like the TV brand to video format document as well. Is it? Look, because the original video was created back in July of 2014. We're now in 2019, so some things have changed. So I'm going to go ahead and create an updated video, so stay tuned for that. And we'll go ahead and get moving with that. So let's jump on over to my computer here. Okay. So in order to actually convert your video you are going to need a piece of software it is a free download this is the one that I use it's the any video converter it's a free download I will have a link to where you can download the program as well as a link to their website as well Either way, both spots you can download it from. This is where I downloaded it from. Just directly from their website. So you just come here. And you want to scroll down. Select the Any Video Converter. Download it. Install it. And that way you can go from there. You'll just want to come here and you'll want to make sure that, you know, when you convert it, that you are converting it to the right format. And you have a bunch of options here. I usually just click TV and Samsung TV H264 for an mp4 because my TV will support mp4 so I'm just gonna use one of my videos just that way I'm not getting hit with copyright we'll drag that in there now if you just want it to play the video with no audio you do have the aud option to just do no audio or you can add a different audio soundtrack or say the video you're playing doesn't have audio you do have the ability to add audio here if you wish I'm just gonna leave it the way it is you'll get some file options over here I'm just gonna go high larger file You can probably leave most of this alone. Unfortunately, you are limited to 30 frames. I'm just going to do encode one pass. Most of this I am just going to, going to leave alone. Now keep in mind with the free version, you are going to be limited with some of the options you get unless you do upgrade and pay for for the paid version of the software which I'm not going to do I'm just going to go ahead and hit convert now a few moments later okay so as you can see here it popped up the folder where it saved it right here you can see it's asking like hey do you want to buy it blah 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 no thanks I'm gonna continue using the free version so as you can see the video file is only 279 megabytes so in this case I have a 8 gig memory card plugged in to my computer as and I do have it formatted as FAT32 I'm going to drop the file onto the memory card now you do have the ability to do multiple files generally as long as you have a decent computer it won't take too too long like in this case is you mean 
was only like four minutes, which really isn't that bad. So at this point, we're just going to wait for this to copy, and then we'll switch on over to my TV. A few moments later. So now that it's on the memory stick, realistically, I mean, you can just delete the original converted file because it's really irrelevant. Eject your USB stick. Now, the main reason I stopped using the YouTube downloader was because they made a few updates and my antivirus actually started flagging it as an unsafe program and even just going to the website trying to download the installer it was flagging that during the download process would just cancel it out right all together so I figured okay maybe I should stop using this so I switched over to the any video converter so let's go ahead and we will kick on over to my Toshiba TV just to verify that this video file is going to play correctly for us here okay tubes so in this case I've plugged in my memory stick with my video on it into my TV there it is there and as you can see it plays just fine So that is all you have to do. Well YouTube, that is the updated version of this video. I am going to be going back to the original one and putting a annotation somewhere here on the screen linking you to the new version here that will be available probably just in the next couple of days as well as linking the document link to the document to that you can download to view your file format if if it's not listed let me know i can get that information for you no problem so i hope you enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to hit that subscribe button hit the thumbs up and when you hit the subscribe button make sure you hit the bell notification to be notified when i upload again and I'll see you in the next one